This video explains how to convert a character string containing years and months to a date object using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create an example character string object that contains years and months. So after running line two of the code, you can see that this new data object called my dates is appearing at the top right. And we can print our data object my dates to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line three of the code. And then you can see that we have created a vector containing three elements and each of these elements contains a year and a month value. Now at this point, our data object is formatted as a character, as you can see by applying the class function to our data object in line five of the code. So after running this line of code, you can see at the bottom that the class character is returned. And now we want to convert this character to the date class. And for this, we need to apply the paste function first to add a day value to our character string. And we can do that, as you can see, in line seven of the code. So within the paste function, we specify that we want to add the character string minus zero one to our already existing character strings. So the value minus zero one corresponds to the first of a month. And then to this, we apply the s.date function. And then we store the output of this in a new data object that I call my dates new. So after running this line of code, you can see that this new data object called my dates new is appearing at the top right. And we can print it to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line eight of the code. And then you can see that now our dates look like proper dates. And we can confirm that by applying the class function to our new data object, as you can see in line 10 of the code. And then you can see that the class of our new data object, my dates new, is the date class. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.